subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. I'm with Vladimir Norov, the head of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Uh, Mr. Norov, welcome to the print. My first question to you is that India is now a member of this uh, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. How important is this? Um, so what role can India play in this organization? <coughs> India, uh, before being the member of SEO, perhaps 15 years the India was uh, observer state in our organization and uh, India have the big uh, potential. India is one of the leading country in South Asia and uh, India and uh, members of SEO, if we're focusing on Central Asia, have the deep historical and uh, cultural ties about which uh, Mr. Uh, Modi, Prime Minister of India, especially mentioned it in the Sindao summit in China to, in 2018 that during thousand years our countries uh, con contributed to development of world civilization. What is important, he named two cities from my country and my city town, Samarkand and Bukhara. I'm so you were the foreign minister, the former foreign minister of Uzbekistan and from Bukhara? Yes, I'm from Bukhara. I worked as a foreign minister from 2006 till 2010. And uh, now I'm one year as a secretary general of SEO and I uh, was my candidacy was proved by all eight member states and by Prime Minister Mr. Modi too. Oh. Because <laughs> but, uh, tell me uh, Mr. Norov, the fact is that uh, the SEO is a China-led organization. That's what is widely uh, spoken about. Yeah. So what can India do? Yes, I can say that it is uh, why the such impression that SEO is China leading organization. Yes, China staying behind this organization. And first, uh, this uh, declaration about organization, this um, organization uh, war signed in Shanghai. That's why our organization have the name Shanghai Organization Corpor Corporation Organization and uh, nevertheless our headquarter in Beijing and many asking me did you are in Shanghai or not. It is for second uh, what I can say that China with its uh, big economy certainly can uh, playing now important role for developing else multilateral cooperation between member states and bilateral cooperation. But at the same time, each of countries have the, their own potential for mutually beneficial cooperation. And San Shanghai spirit, which was formed in framework of SEO, uh, based on the principle mutual trust, mutual uh, um, benefit, uh, mutual, uh, um, uh, mutual respect, mutual, mutual respect and uh, uh, mutual development, consultation. So you're saying China is not going to be uh, having an undue influence? Because uh, what I can say, the decision making in ACO based on consensus. Okay. That's why ACO is example where the countries with a different potential small or big in any area, political, economic, human, or uh, geographic, they are technology, yeah. they have the equal right and uh, no one can impose their will. And only by consultation, by such cooperation, and certainly China today became the one of the important partner for all member states, not only for Central Asia, but at the same time for Russia, and India then can benefit for the, from this, and, and member states, and as China itself and Russia and Central Asia can benefit from India. So Pakistan is also a member of the SEO and both India and Pakistan have had these rivalries and in fact at the moment uh, India doesn't have any or very small diplomatic relations with Pakistan. And uh, what I can say that India and Pakistan join it together. Yes. Because this country do, during 15 years war observer states. And in beginning of formation of this organization in 2001, leaders of our countries had a big wisdom when they made such a uh, uh, statement that the bilateral issues, any kind, should not be brought on agenda of SEO. SEO should be used for, first of all, as it was uh, with the security in this time, very urgent needed such unity, uh, focus it and uh, conditionally and persistently on fighting terrorism, extremism, separatism. That's why, that's why all. Uh, if you're looking to the history of ACO, 
During 18 years, there were disputes between Central Asian countries over transborder issues, river issues, other such conflict situations, and some Western experts name it uh, centrally as a Balkan. Like there will be conflict, will be the war between member states, yeah. central. But this never our leaders brought to this uh, agenda. And with the coming new president to Uzbekistan, Shavkat Mirziyoyev, yes. the region uh, prospect is changed completely. So what about Kashmir? So the uh, Kashmir is not discussed in SCO at all? No, as I told you, these issues, bilateral issues, we're not discussing. Okay. These issues should be resolved by countries as Uzbekistan showed the example, as Central Asian countries showing example, all issues, border delimitation, border on the, the serious we are there on this. Between these two countries themselves? Yes, we, by uh, the compromise, by consultation, on the base of mutual compromise, but with the taking and in interest of all countries. So India is now the head of the mechanism uh, or, or the committee which is the head of government, is that correct? No, it is uh, not a, a council. We have named it council, meeting of every year, meeting of head of governments. We may name head of governments. Head of governments, okay. not as states. Okay. It will, uh, the China, uh, India now will have such presidency. Mm -hmm. They will organize and secretary at SEO will support. That's why we had the meeting with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of Commerce. We had the meeting in Trade Commerce Chamber. And we uh, out. So, 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 what does this mean? Uh, excuse me. This means that all the heads of government in SCO will come together and meet in India this year? And what I can say, uh, we, if looking to political system of member states, we have some differences. Right. Uh, India and Pakistan, two countries, are parliamentarian. Yes. Their prime minister have more power. For yes, that's why in all uh, government uh, head of government meetings from uh, Indian and Pakistan side in the last year in Tashkent participated on ministerial level. Mm -hmm. That is number one minister who uh, sure. they were. That's why it will be the same maybe here. So the foreign minister. At the uh, host country, China, uh, India, I think in this meeting, Prime Minister Mr. Modi will participate too. And the meeting will be here in Delhi. When is it? In, in Delhi, uh, the, the decision where will be, uh, not yet. We, uh, but in uh, India, somewhere in India. In India, but in November, the date is outlined. Uh -huh. But please, because there will be several meetings, business forum will be, and uh, India side would like to organize in different cities. So the foreign minister of Pakistan will also be invited in that case to India? Yes, certainly. In not only minister, yes, the ministry, before it will be minister, not minister of foreign affairs, it will be minister of economy and uh, minister of commerce or minister for foreign economic relation. They will gather there. But when coming delegation headed by head of government, there's a ministry of deputy minister of foreign affairs following him. So um, does this mean that under the rules and under the protocol, does this mean that India will have to invite all the yes. foreign ministers or the economy ministers for this heads of government? Yes, certainly. It is, it is nevertheless what your relationship with each other, as in we are following the chart of UN. This uh, in UN all invited. Nevertheless, maybe there is some uh, countries in the. So India will have to invite Pakistan. Yeah, by our protocol, they should invite pro uh, Pakistan. It is, I think, uh, what I can say. Uh, uh, thank you for this question. <laughs> the representative of India and Pakistan working together in our secretariat, sitting together, discussing and making uh, cooperation because for fulfilling some task of secretariat. There's the same uh, representative of India and Pakistan uh, working in a regional anti-terrorist structure in Tashkent. The Beus military forces of two countries participated in Chibarkul on Russia territory in military anti-terrorist military exercise. That's why there is not any uh, um, objection for coming here and meeting because in any case, dialogue, it is one of the important of our principles, consultation, dialogue. We, and it is, it is important to see each other and to talk to each other. So you think that, uh, does the SU feel that India and Pakistan should talk to each other? Yeah, yes, certainly. It, is, uh, it, it should be. It uh, should talk to their neighbors and there is uh, more benefits from such cooperation between two countries which have the common history and common in culture and in the tradition and mentality. That's why uh, I think it should be. Mr. Norov, thank you so much for speaking to the print.
This is Jyoti Malhotra for The Print. Please continue to watch our YouTube channel. It's live and buzzing.